back to my channel if you're new my name is Benita here we talk about all the things that we love as it relates to lifestyle and luxury so if you are new welcome we usually do videos twice a week usually on Wednesday usually there is a luxury upload and then on Fridays there is a another video a lifestyle video we vlog I will link my most recent videos here or either down below we did have a luxury upload a last week it was a tag video and then we also had a vlog I hope that you would go back and watch those videos and then also too if you think you would like to join the team please like comment and subscribe so today we have a what's in my bag video we also have like a wear and tear a handbag update of one of my favorite bags so without further ado we're gonna get started so I have been into like old school handbag videos when I've just been you know perusing on YouTube and then because I have been watching them a lot I've been you know a lot of them are coming up in my feed I'm about to switch out of my Louis Vuitton speedy 35 I think I've been taking the speed my speedy probably for almost a month now so unfortunately it's time for me to switch switch her out whenever I do take this bag I always want to keep her I always want to take her for at least two to three months but because I have a good amount of handbags I do need to rotate her out and she is a vintage bag um, so I don't want to put her into like an everyday rotation even though I want to I don't want to put her too much into an everyday rotation I need to clean her because I've worn her a lot more lately so we do have a lot of scuffs and buffs on the leather you guys know this was replaced the leather was replaced probably about five or six years ago now um our original canvas but all of the piping all of the leather was replaced probably like I said about five or six years ago so she is coming along but I don't don't want to overuse her because I definitely want her to last she is over 30 years old so I want her to last for sure another 30 or so years so what's in my bag I usually don't carry my speedy with the organizer but I store her with an organizer so whenever so I'm going to take things out put it in here before I put it in my next handbag Comment down below if you're like me and you just love what's in my bag videos. I'm nosy and I want to see what people carry in their bags. And then also too, I want to see if people carry a bunch of junk like I do. So we love a good what's in my bag. All right, so the first thing I have is a hair clip. You know, I have to, like I have my hair clipped up today. So I carry around these big old clips. The next thing is going to be my Chanel OKs. And yes, I'm definitely gonna get another one of these. This one is beat up, so there's that. We got a bunch of papers. I went to the dentist yesterday, so I received <laughs> an itemized receipt of the dentist, a mask, bill from the dentist, um, my pochette, won't go through there, um, hand sanitizer, which is pretty much gone, so that's trash. I have a lot of trash in this bag. Allergy medicine. If you are like me, everybody is snotty and stuffy and pollen ridden, so allergy, nasal spray, um, receipts. Let's see. I usually give my receipts to my husband because he puts them in the app to, to get me like gift cards and stuff. So this one is from the 42nd Street Oyster Bar. So from a date night. <laughs> this one is from Alpaca. Okay, so greedy, greedy gumdrop. This is um, a flyer from church. Our women's ministry is having some things at church. A straw. Key clay and then my YSL card holder. Okay, I'm going pretty fast because um, another bill. I hate bills. Another receipt. Um, just a duplicate from our date night, it seems. And the rest looks like trash. Let me see. Oh, from my, I took my car in a couple of weeks back. So I have the receipt from Volkswagen from when I took my car in there. I have that receipt. 
Um, let's see. This is a little note that I wrote myself that I keep, like I like to keep in my purse. So I'll put that in there. My other key clay, another little clippy. We're almost done. The rest is just trash. I'm kind of embarrassed to show you how much trash I have in here, but I do. Another receipt, let's see, which, what is this? I'm, Tupelo Honey, gosh, food from brunch this past weekend with the girls, a thermometer, <laughs> because I had to make sure I didn't have COVID when I first got sick with these allergies, so I had a thermometer in, thermometer in there. Um, some hand cream, got this around Christmas. I think this is, is it Bath and Body Works? This is really good hand cream. This I definitely will repurchase this. It's called Dry Hand Relief. Hydrating Hand Cream, yep, Bath and Body Works. But this is really good. It's good for your cuticles. It keeps my hands nourished. This is really good. Okay, let's see. Publix, Publix receipt. I'll keep those for Honey so that he can, another duplicate receipt. Chick-fil-A, okay. Why is this all food receipts? Receipt. This one, <laughs> Shake Shack. Okay, so I ate, and the rest is just trash. I'll let you look at that, you can see the trash in there. So let's clean that out. Okay. All right, she's nice and clean in there, no more trash. And then I usually take off my, <clears throat> my extra strap. Obviously, this is the traditional Speedy that doesn't come with the strap. It's not a bandolier, but I just put the strap on for decoration. And sometimes if I'm out shopping and I need to be hands-free, I, I will pop it on. But most of the time, it's just for, for fashion, if you will. And she's good. All right, so the bag that I'm gonna change into is going to be my, my Givenchy Antigona in the blue goatskin patent um, leather. But I bought this bag, I'm not even quite sure how long I have this bag. I'll pop it on the screen here. Um, I'll have to go back and look at my Fashion File account because I did purchase her from Fashion File. This bag was on my handbag wish list for so, so many years. Um, you guys know that I always have a rotating wish list. I don't do like, this is the bags I'm getting for the year because, um, you know, I just love handbags and there's always gonna be a bag on my list. But this one, I hate that it took me so long to pull the trigger. That's what we talked about in our The Mistakes I've Made by Luxury taking so long for me to pull the trigger. This is one of my regrets. I'm glad I have it now, but I just missed out on so many years of this bag. I would like another one. This one is the, I guess what, medium? Cause the small has like the cross body. Um, is this the small or the medium? Comment down below, you Antigona lover. I wanna say this is the medium. I wanna say, I would like a bigger black shiny calfskin one for travel to put in like the overhead bin because it's so, this bag is so structured. I don't believe it would fit like underneath if you're traveling on the plane. I don't believe it'll fit underneath. Okay, I'm sorry guys. I have um, UPS outside my house. I didn't order anything. I don't remember ordering. I want to talk about the wear and tear. I have the older model of this bag. I have the older model of this bag um, where that if you kind of overpack the bag, it will shift the grommets and the um, strap will just pop off. That has, let me see, see it won't do it now yet. That has happened to me when I was out and about, buffing around. Um, I did have a little too much in this bag. This is a heavy bag already, so you don't wanna overpack it for your shoulder anyway. But I did, cause I'm hard headed. I had too much in the bag and it just popped off. Embarrassing, it fell <laughs> on the ground and I have a little nick. I don't know if you can see it there. I have a nick where um, it fell on the concrete, but 
other than that the bag is still in oop, the bag is still in really really good condition um it's just a black hole in the inside so you won't be able to see um you know it has in the inside the i don't know if they've changed this on the newer um antigonas i'm not sure if they're leather the newer ones are leather in the inside but this one isn't it's like a black raw canvas in the inside and it was important to me i prefer dark colors in my bag because you saw all the junk that came out of my speedy i just throw especially in a bigger bag i'm just gonna throw stuff in there and i don't want my bags to get too dirty so i prefer like a dark color i have no rips or anything in there under the bottom i wish it had more substantial feet the bottom is like the best in the best shape of my bag um and i do not put my bags on the floor like outside of the home but if i'm here in the house because this is my house, I will pop my bag on the floor. I mean, I will. On the carpet, on the hardwoods. Um, I put it on the floor in my car, which is probably not good with people's feet. But um, I keep my car pretty clean, but I still, like, if if someone is riding with me and, and, it's, and I have to move my bag from the front, from the passenger seat to the back, I usually reach it and put it on the floor behind that passenger seat, which is probably not good. But it's really in good shape the corners my corners are in really good shape and i worried about this bag at first because it it's like a crinkled um patent leather and i thought that the crinkle effect would either wear off or it would start peeling and i don't have any peeling the only peeling that i have is because of that nick and I think I would just take it to a cobbler and they would probably put like some resin or some kind of shiny top coat on that if it started peeling pretty bad. Um, speaking of peeling though, I, I am having some peeling at the handles. At the handles, I am having a little bit of peeling. I have accelerated the peeling because I use this bag pretty often. Um, I haven't, I haven't used it. I use it mostly in fall and winter because it's just a heavy, sturdy. The color is dark. I use it mostly in fall and winter, but it really looks good in spring, summer too. Against all white creams, it really looks good. So that's um one reason why i'm gonna but you can probably see the peeling underneath like right here can you see that so yeah i probably will need yeah i'm not gonna pull it because yeah that piece is a big piece probably will need to take it to the cobbler and let them put some type of glazing there the strap has gotten more wrinkled um, because I use it pretty often, which I think is going to be the character of the bag. Um, it's, it's regular cow leather underneath, but the shiny goat skin is on top. It has gotten more crinkled and wrinkly, which I like. I mean, that's going to add to the character of the bag. The handles are still in good shape. My handles aren't as sturdy from when I first got them. So they have relaxed a bit even and hold, I hold them up like this so they can stay kind of upright because I have seen pictures of older Antigonas when the handle gets a little wonky. But other than that, she is still in a really, really good shape. I think you, I think you still can get your bang for your buck if you get an Antigona um, off of the pre-loved market. But I would have to say in the grand scheme of things, in the grand scheme of luxury items and all the price increases that happen pretty much every day, it seems, I don't think Givenchy has increased this bag that much. Put my things in here. I'm just gonna just put, not all the junk in the receipts. My YSL back in here. My hand sanitizer is out. Of course, I'm gonna need my medicines my pochette goes back in here i'll put the little clip back in i'll take a mask put my um o case back in here my keys of course i'm gonna need my keys 
that lotion we talked about we'll put back in here you won't be able to see in here you see if you can see you see that everything just fits nicely this has easily become one of my favorite bags if you've always wanted an antigona but you never pull the trigger isn't it it's always a good time you always can find them they're still a classic bag that's why it's still relevant because it just the shape the shape of it makes it classy um, it gives Louis Vuitton Alma vibes um, with the two handles it's like the quintessential working woman stay at home mom stay at home working mom you know retired person bag just cannot say uh, enough about this bag all right guys well uh, thank you for coming along for a what's in my bag i hope that you guys are having the best week thank you guys always always for all your support and god willing i will see you here on friday bye